You gotta be pretty nice with it, especially on the entry, because it will just throw itself right out, it feels like. Ooh. Full throttle. Are you, are you kidding me? Welcome back today guys to the channel Forza Horizon 4 with our brand new car for today man the 2020 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 the most powerful Ford ever built man this is really cool to have this in the game right now super easy to get all you need to do complete flex your muscles if you did that you got the car doing a build maybe going to fortune island and seeing how it does on the mountainside but uh, before we start of course dad joke of the day here coming from serious sam last episode and he goes dad joke how do trees access the internet they log in right okay man huge thanks for watching leave your dad jokes down below and of course don't forget to slap that like button all right, here we go. 2020 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. This thing is bad, man. It's a nice-ass car. You can see that full carbon fiber wing at the back. That's an expensive piece out there. I was actually watching Doug review this car. And uh, he was saying, I think that wing... Oh, yep, sorry, stole it. That wing is about roughly 10 grand or so. I'm not exactly too sure of the numbers, but it's expensive, man. Uh, this car is obviously, like I said, this is the most powerful Ford that has come out of the factory here. 700, and I do believe 60 horsepower. And we're going to have some fun with this Ford today. I'm going to do a few upgrades on it. We're going to see how it does slide. And I'm thinking we're going to take it over to Fortune Island. I'm going to do some uh, runs on here. But first glance, though, on this thing. Love the backfire. The crackle just, right? It sounds so good, man. One of the things, actually, uh, there's, I think, four different modes on this car for the exhaust. It would be cool if Forza actually put in those different modes to kind of, you know, have different exhaust notes. I know that would take a lot of work, and I know probably they're not down to do all that, but right, it would be cool, though, for a certain few cars, and they did actually have a different, uh, you know, sport, track, stuff like that would be cool. That's also a possibility, but this it just looks good, though. Look at that whole rear end with that wing. You cannot get over how good this wing actually looks. The car just is biting. Oh, almost went in the wrong gear. We're back on the uh, the Thrustmaster rig today. I actually have a co- Oh, we got some air in our new last day. Oh, no, no, that's a house. It's a house. Let's bring it down here. I'm not supposed to be on the dirt path with this thing, right? <laughs> the new piece that I have, uh, this guy right here. It's for the PlayStation 4, actually. So I haven't actually got this all up and working right yet. Attack right on your car shows your, you know, your proper gearing that you're in as well, too. So this is going to be really cool. We're going to hook this up for the PS4 uh, very soon with some new Gran Turismo sport on the channel. So I'm definitely looking into doing some more of that. Start us off with a little drift zone. You can see that second gear just cooks it right away. Third gear, not as much. So we definitely have that, you know, that second to third gear power band here, and obviously it's just going to start to understeer hard. Okay, we're going to definitely need some work. Just enjoying the drive here today, man. Forza Horizon 4. Let me know how you guys are enjoying the 2020 Shelby GT500, man. This thing is... Nice car, man. I really do enjoy this thing. I will say, though, I'm excited for the Forza, for the Ford 1000. Uh, that's going to be pretty cool, but I mean, it, uh, right? It doesn't make sense. How come that thing has 1,000 horsepower? This has 760, but it's considered the most powerful Ford, right? I, I don't understand. Unless that's a special edition that's been built by somebody else. It's the only thing I can think of. Just in the second gear, though. The second and third gear is just weird. You can see even the second gear is a little bit struggling. May not be the horsepower, mind you, but just you know, the gears in general. How this is actually set up. So you got a lot of power from probably third to fifth. Fourth gear, 120. It's a fun car to drive, though. I mean, that's one of the biggest things as well. Oh, we got a dip, we got a dip. No, thank you. <laughs> We're gonna try to 360 this. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to or not, but let's give it a shot here. Oh boy. <laughs> it looks nice with that carbon fiber. It's a paddle shift. It's not even a six speed transmission in this thing. Oh, that's sad. Let the ponies run, man. This front hood, though, I'm a huge fan of the front hood, the way it looks. These, these huge louvers that are on here, right? Even without 
big corner is very nice. I mean, we're not going that fast, obviously, but... 192. Seems like that's that's the uh, that's the speed of choice. Here. We're gonna do one more 360 here. Try to at least. Oh no! I almost had that. I felt like okay. Just don't break. Yeah. Okay. What's this up here? Oh, the man's hovering. What is that? <laughs> That doesn't even make any sense to me. Okay, we're gonna do the roundabout test here real quick. And then we're gonna get on to our uh, upgrades here. 2020. Oh shit, I'm trying to remember what other Shelby GTs were in here because there are a couple Mustangs that have been in the Forza franchise for a bit here. That was pretty fortunate. We're gonna dip out of here if we can, yeah, thank you. Okay, didn't do that bad. Dodge some traffic. I give this car a solid day in 9 out of 10 so far. The only thing I just wish that third gear had a little bit more juice. For having 700 and, you know, 50 plus horsepower, I feel like. That's really my only problem, but... It's just the gear ratios is all that that really is, I feel like. And you can see it, though. It just tops out real early, too. Oh, yep. Hook it. Thank you. No! We're good, we're good, we're good. Whew. That was uh, a little bit risky right there. Don't do it, don't do yeah, thank you. I think we got a couple houses up here. Let's toss her. I mean, third gear's not terrible. I keep chirping third gear like it's just terrible, but it's not. Got this nice little home section right here. I'm gonna flip it back, I think. Keep in mind, I'm trying not to hit the curbs. It's one of the biggest things, is I don't want to hit the curbs. I feel like it's just it's so unrealistic uh, when you end up smacking a curb that you should take damage, I feel. Right? I don't know. Make it like BMN G Drive, where you hit something, you end up going down there. You end up doing some real damage there. That couldn't have been any better right there. Big entries! Oh! The 2020 is impressing. And I like this section actually right now. I kind of like toss it into here. We'll hit this kind of flip right here. Bring it into the dead end and then flip it back out. Oh, just a little bit curb. Just a little curb. Oh, it was double dead ends. Oops. Hey, what's back here? What is this? Taking it. Little getaway spot right here, man. This is sick. Hop it right in here and then, yeah. Okay. Oh, that'd be a dirty hiding spot here. I just wish there was more hide and go see games in Forza, right? I mean, I don't, I don't know why they haven't expanded on what they have. I really don't. It's been a couple years, man. Hopefully, we get some new innovative games for Forza Horizon 5. I mean, I feel like the community's made more games just with their own damn imagination. Right? <laughs> One more second. This, this car's just too damn fun. I'm having way too much fun with this thing. Is the gables here? What is this? Oh, it is the gables. I just guessed. I still can't get over how nice that wing is. If there's an option to take the wing off, I'm going to be real upset for it. Why would you take off money? Right? It doesn't even make any sense. Let's see. Right? Well, oh my goodness. Why? Oh, it's supercharged. I didn't even notice it was supercharged. All right. Last upgrade. 1,176 horsepower holy shit we can do the 8.4 liter v10 all-wheel drive we go twin turbos if we wanted to oh my goodness that's actually going to go extremely high that may be a 1400 horsepower build right there we're gonna have to come back to that tire compound the same we're already on 315s i think i'm gonna leave them the same as well bring out the stance of the car front and back and that's really about it i don't want to oh no 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 hold on we need drift suspension thank you oh my god it just sinks this was the color that Doug reviewed. He said it was free to get if you wanted to, you know, swap it from the original color. I like it. It's weird, though. Kind of liking this, this orangey red, almost. I think I'm going to go with this blue here. I, it looks very similar. It may have even been the same blue that we pulled off the lot, but... Here we go. Look at the seats, man. The seats look huge in that car. They look comfy, though. Proper wet would like to join the convoy. Where is this man, anyways? We'll invite him. 
Come on in, sir. Yeah, the supercharger, you can't even really hear it whine, though. That's the thing. Maybe we will now, the fact that we've put some into it, but... Oh, yeah, I hear it. I think we gave it a little bit of power. Just juiced it up a little bit. Not bad at all. Oh, wow. It's a flamethrower. I can't... I Oh, my goodness. I can't remember how good this sounds. The speed boost from 4th to 5th? It just keeps going. There we go. Six gear, we're gonna get some huge height coming over this. Oh! Again? Nope. Oh, shit. I forgot about this. I'm good, I'm good. Toss this hard. Oh! It's a wild ride, but I like this thing a lot. We're gonna see what we can do with it. I never go off this thing. I'm done. Yep. Jump drift it. Maybe reverse entry on this thing. <laughs> uh huh. Put that in properly and then let it go. The throttle control. You gotta be pretty nice with it, especially on the entry, because it will just throw itself right out, it feels like. Ooh. Full throttle. Are you, are you kidding me? We're on a fortune island. We're doing the mountain here. Here we go. There's a nice little feathering on the throttle. We have perfect daylight here, too, in Fort China, which is very rare. Usually we come in here, we spawn in, it's a damn tornado going on. Oh, jeez, how did I miss that? Wow. Big entry. We started off on the damn uphill. Yeah, I don't know. I think, uh, I think today's my day on the mountain. I'm just gonna say that now, right? You heard it here first. Hopefully, we can do it. I don't know if uh, Proper ended up following me or not. I don't think he did. Ooh, that locked a lock, though. It's gonna be back on the Thrustmaster rig, though, for Forza. I don't know if you guys have been following the channel or not, but we haven't been using this for a little bit. Nice to be back, a little change up. The Thrustmaster TSXW. With the uh, TLCM pedals underneath it here. And then we got the next level racing rig holding it all together for us. Uh, this is not good. First kind of screw up on here. Yeah. Who's this? There's somebody behind me. Yeah. Okay, little tandems on the uphill. He's got the FD spec with his wheels just chirping to the left and right. Look at him. Jesus, he looks laggy as hell. We're at 205. I think we're coming close to the end of this. It's not bad, though. Oh, man, I cannot wait. I definitely have to go back to Forza Horizon 1. And I think relive that uh, damn Ford Mustang 1000, I think, is what I'd like to do in these next coming days. If you guys want to see it, let me know in the comment section down below. Because obviously... Uh, that car's not coming out here for another, what, like three weeks? We're not going to see that, so... Right, we got teased with one, and I think this is really the only new car that is in uh, the festival playlist, other than the Ford 1000, right? So, I don't know. Seasonal complete. Oh, we got one. Hey! Not the greatest on my on my run, but... I'm going to go ahead take out the supercharger. Just yank that out. Thank you. And let's go ahead. Plop. Oh. What? We can't upgrade the twin turbos? It just... Oh, it just stays. Up, 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 up. Right? Oh, yes, it does. Can we see the engraving on here? There's supposed to be a name on the uh, on, on the blower saying who built the car, or I guess who approved the vehicle, but I don't see it on this one there. For a car of this caliber, it, I don't know. It doesn't... It doesn't match, I feel like. I mean, all these upgrades... I mean, this feels like a supercar on the outside. And then we look inside, and it's like, oh. It's another Mustang, it feels like. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below on it. We're going to go ahead and take this out one more time. I don't know. We don't have as much uh, power, it seems like. Right off the bat. Ooh. I don't know yet. 
back to third. Gear ratios feel a little bit interesting. I definitely probably should have changed them, but if I can just use the third and fourth gear together almost. Oh, look at the sun! Holy! This is definitely the calm before the storm, I feel like. Is that what's happening right now? There we go. Nice fourth gear rip. Oh, uh, no. I can't believe we have the sun coming up. Oh, he left! Is that nice? Why'd you leave me, man? <laughs> I like the supercharger in here way better than the twin turpskies. Way better. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below if you guys built one. 2020 Ford Mustang Shelby GT 500 Ford Titan. I, it, if I had one of these, I'd just be saying 500 all the damn time. And everything that was 500 would now be 500. <laughs> like, cannot wait for the Ford 1000 to come in. And then in turn, uh, the Hot Wheels. DLC, hopefully before the end of the month. I'd like to get it uh, somewhere in the midst of the middle of it. Would be awesome. Let me know your thoughts down below. Huge thank you for watching once again. You guys follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all of which are found down below. And I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Don't forget to slap that like button. I'm out. Peace. Oh, sorry.